but we put a fish cave down at the bottom. So we just pretty much roughed out 10 inches by 10 inches. And then Luis cut out the opening. So then we're gonna create that our fish cave. So water line will be, I think somewhere around here. So I mean, the fish will be able to go up inside there and hide from all the predators. It's gonna be conceived by the urn. So you're not even gonna be able to see it at all. And then we're gonna frame both sides of it and get everything locked in so that everything holds true and plumb. Yep. I actually put one of these urns in my pond as well. I did not make it a fish cave. I might actually steal this idea and go back and do that, but added a great, cool aesthetic to the whole pond. going on DK team aquascape coming at you it is day two on this awesome Willow Springs pond rehab project doing all granite we have extended this pond uh, it was about a 16 by 16 we're now making it about a 25 by 20 we've got the 6,000 bio falls up there we're gonna do a surprise spillway bowl to the right of where the old bio falls was one of the things I wanted to talk about on this project is we ran into a lot of things that were done wrong and it's not that we want to to put that on the original contractor, but I really wanna highlight the importance of our Certified Aquascape contractor program, our training, the way Aquascape does their teaching with the academy, the university, on-site builds, the collaboration builds, how important it is to teach everybody ponds done right, customers served right, and through that, making sure that our edges are done correctly, we don't have low spots. So basically the point I'm trying to make that Brian taught us very, very well is that it it's very important to do your research. The great thing about all things Team Aquascape is we have the website, we have the social media, we have the YouTube channel. These vlogs are very educational and teaching you, the consumer, how ponds done right, customer search right, is very, very important. On this, we made sure that we got our underlayment in, our shelves dug correctly, our elevation set, our liners in. So I cannot stress from Brian Helfrich himself how important it is to do your research. Go on to our Aquascape Inc. website look up the CAC locator page go to our social media go to our YouTube watch these educational vlogs so that you to the consumer or the avid pond builder or even the contractor can come in and watch how we do things so that we can teach you the proper methods proper techniques and processes so that you are successful your clients or you the customer are completely satisfied with how things are built so that you can sit back with the hardest job which is just to sit back and enjoy it take it all in relax have that tranquil experience which is the most important thing that's why we're here to help you working on putting in a bulkhead coming in through the liner from the backside or it's actually the secondary line coming off of the second pump off in the skimmer we're going to feed that line down and through and it is actually going to feed this urn we're also going to sneak in a jet as well no one saw that as jack falls flat on his face put that in the bloopers so right now jack and i've been working on getting this bottom all rocked He's doing a phenomenal job. We just set the urn. We're working on getting it framed in with a couple bigger boulders, getting this thing leveled up in time for these guys to come across and work on getting their plumbing into it. We're actually gonna come in through the side of it instead of the bottom and actually put a bulkhead up in the top to help hold that pipe so it's not wanting to fall down because silicone won't be the only thing allowing it to hold. So that gives us a better insurance that it will not move and it'll stay plumb and square. Jack, what do you think? I think it's going by good nice day out working in the shade so we're going to try to knock out as much as we can this urn i'm really looking forward 
the seeing how it looks. It's a large stack slate urn, as you guys can see. And right now, I don't know if Dan explained it to you guys, but we put a fish cave down at the bottom. So we pretty much roughed out 10 inches by 10 inches. And then Luis cut out the opening. So then we're gonna create that our fish cave. So water line will be, I think somewhere around here. So I mean, the fish will be able to go up inside there and hide from all the predators. It's gonna be conceived by the urn. So you're not even gonna be able to see it at all. And then we're gonna frame both sides of it, get everything locked in so that everything holds true and plumb. Yep. I actually put one of these urns in my pond as well. I did not make it a fish cave. I might actually steal this idea and go back and do that, but added a great, cool aesthetic to the whole pond. What'd you say? You haven't picked the camera up and hold on, hold on. Shush, shush. We have a special visitor. <laughs> Who is this fine lady? Huh? Who is it? My mom. <laughs> Tell everybody with confidence. No, it's your beautiful, talented, excellent baker of a mother bringing us brownies. What do we got over here, brownies? Look at that. Brownies. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm used to something around here. What do you think? Are you, do you think you're embarrassing him right now, or do yeah, you think you're making why, his day? That's why I, did. <laughs> that's why I had to come. I know. Well, you're no stranger to see us because you come to almost all of our events, and yeah. and that's really how he got his start. Yeah. Was and then I got to meet this guy behind the camera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this just makes my day because this <laughs> this makes my heart full. Hey, we'll stop a job site for homemade brownies anytime. There you go. So well, good thing it's a there's. Day and you guys are doing a nice job. Beautiful job. Well, there's five of us and there's only four brownies in there. Who's not getting one? <laughs> <laughs> I get them at home only you guys. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's awesome. So enjoy. You're the best. You guys quit, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much. All right. Jack, why don't you tell all of our viewers out there what a pleasant surprise that was? Oh, it was a pleasant surprise. God, he's so sarcastic. I, that's not sarcastic. That's pretty that's awesome. Bottom of my heart. Huh? Bottom of my heart. <laughs> I think you need a juice box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't miss out on the opportunity for the brownies. That made our day. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Everybody. You're the best. All right. Take care. <laughs> Here at Aquascape, it's a family affair. We love the. <laughs> love the harass Jack. We just love that Jack is comfortable enough to have his mommy come bring us an afternoon snack. Yeah. I mean, you should see him right after nap time. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it is. Rips off his swaddle blanket and he's ready for work after about a half hour pup stamp. Nope. His milk cup's empty. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes he has a juice box. <laughs> Jack, serious question. What? Serious question. Do you think you deserve all this hazing and harassment or do you think it's justified? No, I, I know I deserve it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately. What do you guys out there think, huh? Well, should we should we, we take, should we take it harder on Jack or should we take it easy? No, no, we're gonna <laughs> turn the comments off for that video. <laughs> That's enough of your talking. Yeah. This will probably probably be a great opportunity to tell our viewers kind of the progress that we're making. So Jack, you can go clean the streets. We're gonna go ahead and eat the brownies and let's get an update from Dan. No, no, no. Go clean the street. Go, 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 go. Good to work. We'll You're fired. Me clean the street. No more volunteering for you. You're fired. So Dan, we've got, I would say 85, 90% of the pond rocked in, graveled, all that stuff. We've got Corey working on this really awesome peninsula back here behind the urn and just this backwater cove area. How do you feel? I'm feeling awesome. I think we've had an awesome day. Our entire team, including you, we've really rallied and brought this thing close to the finish line. So mm -hmm. tomorrow will be a, an easy, easier day. 
hopefully a little shorter today. Yeah. But I'm really happy with the progress. This thing's looking awesome. I'm excited to get the uh, spillway bowl dialed in tomorrow yep. and the rest of the waterfalls. So the idea for that spillway bowl is... What are you doing back? You're supposed to be cleaning the street. Get away from the brownies. Get away from the brownies. <laughs> Take them leaving. <laughs> I need a flat of choke. So the plan for that patio pond back there is to rob a few hundred gallons, probably six, eight hundred gallons from the four to seven pump. <laughs> the four to seven pump that's feeding the biofalls. We're just gonna bring a pipe in up over the liner and just coming through the side, plumb that thing, and then just get a little spillway horsetail fall falling out of that notch there. We're gonna throw a light on it, and that'll really kind of add some symmetry or maybe asymmetry to the pond, being that we have the urn over here and the waterfall back there. With our water circulation. Yeah, well. that's an excellent add on. We also added another jet back in that back corner so that we don't have a jet mm -hmm. zone. Just beyond that black bucket right there. So maybe tomorrow, as we're filling things up after it's all rinsed, we can show the circulation jets and kind of what we did. We've got a manifold down below here. That's a two inch line being ran from a 3000 that will feed the circulation jet that's over behind that black bucket, the urn, and a jet blows out from underneath this urn. And I, secret fish I love this fish in. cave down here. Here that Corey and Luis worked on and that is a very deep fish cave in through there So I don't think a heron or any other predator predatory bird or mammal will be able to get any of those fish That's awesome. And the cool thing about it is the fish can actually come up the water level yep. inside there as well That's pretty awesome. And because we've turned this into a fish cave Corey Why don't you talk about this because you and Luis did this so when I got here this morning I noticed that there's a bulkhead fitting attached to an MPT and I asked Corey because that's not normally what we do in a lot of our videos because Normally we just run the pipe right up through and then silicone it. So explain to our viewers out there what the purpose of the bulkhead fitting was in this opportunity. Usually the bulkhead fitting is not necessary in most cases because we usually will fill the urn with bags of gravel or some weight so that it won't move around on us. But since we have the fish cave on the bottom, we weren't able to fill it with anything. So we have that and then the pipe is a little bit higher than usual. So to keep it straight and to keep it sturdy without it tilting any other way, we put the bulkhead fitting. That way we know that it's going to go straight up and that way the water won't shoot any other way and that's why we got this reducer right here and that's also why we have this inch and a half pvc right here so that the water will shoot a little bit higher than it normally would yeah and another reason for the bulkhead fitting is that it's what it's going to do is it's going to hold the top of this in place i know we screwed it in you know kind of gave it that kind of five degree turn to lock it in place but because there's no weight or no ballast inside of it and that it's inside of water and it's hollow we didn't want it to float yeah Yes, we have it locked in with rock and gravel all around, but what this is doing is actually keeping the lid attached to the urn itself because you have the pipe attached to that and the weight of the rock and gravel holding the pipe down is actually holding it down, right, as kind of an anchor, right? That's, uh, yeah, that's another thing that, I mean, I, I didn't even consider, but that's two reasons then why we have that bulkhead fitting. And you'll notice that we have our three watt light in there as well, which is a very standard operating procedure for us yep. at Aquascape. So great job. We have this, this back little cove in through here to kind of wrap up for the day. And I think we're gonna call it. God, it looks so awesome. I love granite boulder ponds because of the different size of gravel. There's a million different faces, tops, bottoms, fronts, backs on a lot of these rocks. And I love the variation in size. And the guys are doing a stinking fantastic job putting this together. We've got kind of this weird organic step area just to give a little bit of an entrance back here into the pond it to come off of this patio. I love how it's turning out. It just doesn't look formal at all, which is what you've seen in most of our videos is kind of that formal entrance. So this is a really cool thing thing. Just love how it's turning out. So we got lights going in. We're going to finish rocking this. We're going to put a valve box over this manifold to protect that and make the valves easily accessible. We'll carve out a couple of rocks here, but we're almost in the home stretch. And then tomorrow, Jack, Corey, Dan, Luis are going to work on finishing out this waterfall area. You can see Jack has already kind of set the bottom fall there. And then it's just going to be a series of two or three more drops leading down from the biofalls itself. And then just a bunch of wing wall and dirt work. So really coming together. I love it.